Welcome to r slash Tales from Tech Support, where we get to have a little chuckle at the technologically disadvantaged, like me. I'm Uncle Reddit, and have I got a story for you. Got a little something special today, guys. We have one story, emailed into me by Kepster9312, and this one's all about helping somebody upgrade their PC. Enjoy! The characters are me and the user. Got sent an email about assisting a user with needing help upgrading his computer. Not sure what category this would go with, seems to fit tech support with some choosing beggar and a hint of Karen review. This is how it went. User. I have a 3060 on the way. I got a new PSU. I've also been thinking about swapping my NVMe drive to a better one. I only have one slot. I was hoping to get a quote for putting in the new PSU and cloning my OS from the old NVMe to a new one. Thanks. P.S. I'm a broke cook. I was just hoping to get a quote. I know I could do it myself, but I work insane hours, and if it isn't too expensive, I'd rather have someone else do it. The whole migrating my OS from my NVMe to another is something I've never done. Please shoot me a quote. Thanks. Me. For that work, it would be between $200 and $240. That would include the cloning of the OS and verifying it cloned properly, and the time for installation of the PSU and the NVMe drive, also including testing the entire system for proper operation. We would also install updates if possible. Some time passes. User. I'm the guy that wanted you to do a PSU swap. I also have some old parts that I have just been too busy to list if you're willing to swap for a lower cost. Nothing too good. MSI H270A, Pro Motherboard, Intel, G4560, TP-Link, AC1200, PCIe, Wi-Fi card. That's all I have lying around, but I don't have money and busy, so if some parts could help bring down service costs, that would be cool. I also have my Asus RX580, but those are going for 300 ish right now with the whole shortage fiasco. 300 is a bit above my price range. I'm sorry, not trying to be a choosing beggar. I'm just kind of feeling out how much the whole thing would cost. I just don't know what these kinds of services go for. I don't want to waste your time. Thanks again. I've been doing a little post work drinking, so sorry about my messages being so fragmented. My old 450 watt PSU would also be up for swap. I have tomorrow off. Thanks. Me. Can do 145 to 150 with the trade in of the parts. User. Just to do the OS swap or also to swap on the PSU? Me. It's the time it would take to do the clone and swap of the NVMe SSD and swapping the PSU as well as testing, verify that everything's working and fully functioning. User. Here's an important thing. I don't drive. Oh my god. I also have Thursday off. My 3060 is going to be delivered Thursday. I live by Bradley. How much to just come to my place and swap out my GPU and PSU? Along with all the old parts I have laying around. Sorry, I'm kind of a drinker and cannot remember what parts I listed. So I'm going to go through everything I have. Corsair CX450 PSU you could keep. MSI H270A Pro with Intel G4560 still in the socket. 100% functional. I just paid the guy I bought it from to help me with the motherboard and CPU upgrades. I'm not too worried about doing the OS swap to another SSD right now. I haven't ordered one yet because I really don't have the money. But I'm excited to move up to the 3060. I'm sure I could do it myself, but I'd rather give you some old parts and pay you a fair price. But I don't drive. I live on Western right behind Bradley. If you want some beer or something, I'm happy to provide. Please shoot me a quote. I work like 50 hours a week, so later Thursday would be ideal since they're getting delivered and it's my only day off. It's coming UPS, which usually delivers around 3.30 p.m. If that doesn't work for you and you need to come earlier, that's fine. Just set me up so all I must do is slot in the GPO and hook it up to the PSU when it comes. I already have the new PSU. Me. It would be 1.20 to come by and replace the GPU and PSU. I do work Monday through Friday until 6 p.m. That is with the parts you want to do the swap with, otherwise it would be close to 200. 120 would be the lowest possible as you would be paying for close to about 2 hours of work. The rest of the time it would take and the amount to get there would be covered by the parts you're wanting to swap as payment. When it comes to cloning an NVMe SSD, there is a program that can assist with doing so. But you would also need a proper enclosure for the second drive to connect to USB and be able to remember what source that data is coming from and the target where the data is going to. 
If this is done incorrectly, you would completely wipe the wrong NVMe SSD and lose your data. Another feasible way is to have some things moved from NVMe SSD to a regular 2.5 inch SSD drive if you have SATA connections, and the hard disk drive bays can support it. User. Okay, does that include like nice cable management or something? I used to build my PCs back in the day and I'm sure I could do it myself. I just had someone help me with a motherboard swap and it didn't even take two hours. I'm not trying to be a D or anything. I know you gotta get paid, but even if I didn't give you the parts and paid you 200 for what you say, it would be a two hour job. That's 100 for an hour, or something that's not that difficult. It just comes down to laziness on my part, but I think I'll just do it myself. Thanks for the advice on the OS swap. That was my massive thing, is that my only other drive is not SSD. But I'll get it figured out. If you wanted to do the PSU swap for like 60 bucks plus my old parts. Corsair, CX450, MSI, H270A Pro, Intel G4560, I would be okay with that. But 120 is just out of my price range right now. I think even with 60 in the parts, you would really be coming out ahead. I can definitely do the swap in less than an hour. New PSU is fully modular too. Me. The 200 will be swapping parts for two to two and a half hours plus the cost to get there. The swapping is including testing along with the best cable management. Closer to the three hours. The reason is that I make sure it's done right the first time and allocation in case something does go wrong and requires more time. User. You're only swapping my PSU. It just involves pulling my PSU cables, putting the new PSU in, and plugging them back in. Again, I know how it goes. I've done it. I don't need you to do extreme cable management. My case is kind of a POS. I just want you to unplug everything from the motherboard. Take it out, screw the new PSU in, and route the cables where they need to be. When it comes to putting in my GPU and hooking it up to the PSU, I can do that, easily. If that takes something off the price, like, I can do it. You're getting parts, and I think $60 for the drive and 30 minutes of work is worth it. If not, that's okay. I'm really not trying to be a D, but I'm barely over minimum wage and I just would rather pay someone to do the work on one day off, so I can relax. But I can't justify that kind of money. I am sorry. Me, you asked for a quote on swapping out the old GPU and PSU and installing the new GPU and PSU. User, okay, sorry to waste your time. I did say PSU and GPU, but the GPU is not much harder than plugging in a toaster. If something went wrong, I would be willing to pay more money, but I don't see how that would happen unless it was done wrong. Again, while I'm sure I'm not as knowledgeable as you, I have done this before. I don't want to be a choosing beggar, but it's way out of my price range. I'm very confident I can do it myself. I just really didn't want to on my day off. Considering that you could get at least $100 for my parts, another $120 is just out of the question. Three hours is how long it would take me to put together a whole PC. Sorry, thank you for your time. I was going to leave it be, but the PSU and GPU swap took me less than 30 minutes, and I moved slow and was not confident. It's plugging in a few things, unscrewing some screws, swapping out the parts, plug a few things back in. At $300, that would have been $600 an hour, <laughs> which is incredibly predatory, and I'm sure it works on people less versed in computers, which is incredibly sad. Another person got back to me after I did the swap and quoted $80. You should be ashamed of yourself, and I hope business is poor since you are a scammer. If I did it again, I could easily do it in under 15 minutes. So the user left a one-star review on Google business page. I asked for a quote to swap out my PSU and GPU. Quoted $300 and it would be a three hour job. Decided to do it myself. Took less than 30 minutes. Most of which was spent watching a tutorial. Could easily be done in 15 minutes or so. Type of guy who obviously preys on people not knowing anything about computers. Scam if you ask me. My response. The amount in time was from the original quote for swapping PSU, GPU, and NVMe drive along with cloning the drive. With all that was between $240 and $300. The $300 was including drive time as well. There are many things that take 15 minutes to 30 to an hour, but also must factor in driver and firmware updates that may be required. Having an hour for each swap is reasonable to allocate time for this. The IRS swap is verification that it's done properly and fully working before handing the system back to the customer. We do have a 30 day warranty that covers if something goes wrong after any repairs and swaps are completed. That covers if something does go wrong. If it is related and the original repair or swap was less than 30 days ago, the additional repair is covered by that 30 day warranty. Quotes are not always final, but it is meant to give you an idea of what the maximum amount may be. The hourly rate is between $60 to $80 an hour and can be on varied factors. 
The moral of this story is that when you hire a business to provide a service, it may come at a cost, but has warranty behind it. Hiring the right person. While it might seem that it might take 15 minutes to 30 minutes to replace a couple parts on your own, you need to realize the best IT techs are not rushing and doing their best while making sure everything is completely functional and working and making it look the best they can. While asking for a quote, don't think that's the closing price of that service as it's more meant for giving an idea of what it could cost. The total cost was also including commute within the new quote. The user kept changing the amount per hour from 100 to 300 then 600 an hour. Not once did he even try to do correct math. The amount that I charge for an hour is between 60 and 80 per hour. I don't charge nowhere near 300 to 600 an hour for tech repair, not even 100 an hour. I even have the price list on the website so you can easily see a breakdown of what the hourly rate is and the service cost for cloning an operating system or even a reinstall. This was mentioned multiple times to him, but he failed to notice. A lot of times it takes longer than you think when it comes to tech repair of any type. You must be able to figure in the extra time by double on what the work is to not feel against time when something does go wrong. The way this works is if a part takes 15 to 30 minutes to do a full swap, you should give it an extra 15 to 30 minutes for looking it over and verifying there's no issues and installing drivers and updates. Don't call a business a fraud just because you think you can do it faster and cheaper. If that was the case, and you were able to swap it that easy on your day off, then what's the point for requesting the quote? I've been repairing computers for 22 years and had helped many people over that time. I had been told differently. I do have users that constantly come back to me for assistance. I've even been working in some type of IT position for half of the 22 years at different companies. There's an hourly amount that is charged for the repair or swap, and then there's a fee for having a complete operating system cloned. Remember, never compare a computer component to a kitchen appliance. GPUs are not as simple as plugging in and using a toaster. GPUs are just like any other computer component except for the power supply, where it will require the computer operating system to detect the correct card and install drivers. Sometimes this isn't always the case. Yeah, Guy was right. He's got a bit of a drinking issue. I know guys like this. They're hustlers to begin with. They spend all their money on booze and all their time on boozing and working and then want to hustle you out of your services or your money because they've already wasted theirs in the bottle. I'm pretty sure as soon as this guy started going around in circles with the, I can do it, but I just would rather have somebody else to do it. And you know, the I'm broke and I'm just a broke cook. And yeah, when they start making excuses right out of the gate like that, yeah, I'm done. Time to go. Cut them loose. I'd rather eat out of a garbage can than help somebody like that when they're just going to dick around and cost me money, time, and whatever hair's left on the top of my head, which ain't much. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you've enjoyed this content, would you do me a favor and check out one of these videos right here? I think you'll like them. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that little bell icon so you don't miss the fact out with the beard telling you stories. See ya!